Jubal's phone taps are hilarious, but being charged with DUI is no laughing matter. Trust Jubal's friends at 1-800-DUI-AWAY. If you're charged with a criminal offense, your one call is 1-800-DUI-AWAY. Proud supporters of Jubal's phone taps. 1-800-DUI-AWAY! It's another Jubal phone tap. And weekday mornings on the 20s. Only on moving 92.5. Hello? Hi there. I was looking for Robin Tr- uh, That's me. Hi, Robin. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Bob Marathon, and I'm a realtor in your area. Oh, uh, okay, but we're really not interested in selling. <laughs> yeah, obviously. I'm not interested in selling a home for you either, so that's good. <laughs> well, then why are you calling me? Well, I'm calling you because I drove by your home yesterday. Okay. And as I was driving by, I had to sort of do a double take because I noticed you still had your Christmas lights up. Yeah, we still have our Christmas lights up. What business is it of yours? Well, it's my business because I sell homes in the area, and it's quite unsightly. So is there a reason that they're still up, religious or something, that I can let my clients know? We just didn't take them down. I mean, it's our house, not your house. You don't believe in a God that wants you to keep the lights up, but you do believe in laziness. I see. That's what it is. I believe in what? What did you say? I I said laziness. Is that not... Laziness? Yeah. Who the hell are you to tell me that I'm lazy? I have stuff to do besides take down lights. And it's been cold, and it's been snowing and everything else, and they can just Mm -hmm. stay up there till I get to them. Well, you know, it's been three months, maybe even a little more than three months, and now the neighbors are even talking. So? So? Nobody said anything to me. Well, I asked your neighbors across the street about it, and they told me that everybody calls your place the Raccoon Shack. The Raccoon what? Oh, my God. Well, I think think you heard me. Yeah, I heard you, but I think you're full of shit. That's what I think. Well, I don't know. I mean, I believe them. It looks like it's a place where raccoons go to make love and then poop everywhere with those lights on it. So can we take them down, please? <laughs> Thank no, we you. cannot take them down. I'm going to leave them on until next Christmas. And raccoons do not go over there. And what the hell is the problem with you? Well, I, it just looks sort of dilapidated. Well, I think you look sort of dilapidated. Why are you stalking my house? I, I apologize using such a big word. Uh, dilapidated would mean, I guess... For somebody I who would know keep what their... dilapidated means. It means mm-hmm. something that you're driving, probably. Look, mm-hmm. who the hell are you to be calling me up and discussing anything with me whatsoever? You don't live in my neighborhood. And Correct. I'm not telling my <laughs> Correct. House. I would never live in your neighborhood. Good. I wouldn't want you to live in my neighborhood. I would never live near somebody who wouldn't take their lights down. But it is affecting my sales, so we're going to take them down today? I'm not. That's not my problem. That's your problem. But obviously, you're not a good salesman. Mm-hmm. What I'm hearing from you is you're going to take them down today? Then you didn't f-ing hear me. Clean out your ears. I am not taking them down. Mm-hmm. Well, how about if I come over and rip down those Christmas lights free of charge? And how about if I call the police uh, okay. and have them come and arrest your ass for trespassing on my property? Well, I'll do it for free and I'll even chase those horny raccoons right out of your basement. I'll get rid of those horny raccoons for you. I don't do you have think? any horny raccoons in the first place. And in the second place, if I had, I'd want them there. You would want horny raccoons in your basement. No, dipshit. I don't have raccoons of any kind. I already told you that. Oh, is it ferrets then? What sort of marmot do you... Do you have a a varmint or marmot? No, I don't have a varmint. Do you know the correct term? Varmint, marmot, vermin? I'm just repeating you. You obviously don't know how to talk. It's a vermin, and no, I don't have any. Okay. And if you step one foot on my property, I'll take those Christmas lights down myself and strangle you with them. Would you like that, you little... Yes. Yes. You yes. probably would. You're an S and M and all that, aren't yes, you? Yes, I am. I got all the tools at home for it too. Well, let me tell you something. You can use those tools on yourself. I right do. Now and leave me the hell alone. All right. I'm gonna hang up on you in a minute. I'll tell you what. All this talk has really got me inspired. So I am gonna go do that. But before I get off the phone, I do want to let you know this is a prank phone call. A prank phone call. Yes. This prank- is. Yeah. Okay. I don't know what you're talking about right now. What the. F- did you just say? It's a joke. This is Jubal from Brook and Jubal in the morning doing a phone tap on you, and your daughter Amber set you up. No, she did not. Yes, yeah, she did. She says she's embarrassed because you and your husband haven't taken down the Christmas lights yet and what wanted to screw with you. Come over here and ha- take them down herself. Jesus. Well, she's probably scared to come over there. To, she'll get strangled and have to hang out with a bunch of horny raccoons doing whatever kinky stuff you're into. I don't... Horny f***ing raccoons. I should have 
I've known that was a joke. Nobody calls me about f***ing horny raccoon. <laughs> well, they should start if they're not. <laughs> <laughs>